Redick, the Jets pass rusher, isn't looking for a super yacht. He just wants a new contract. He's reportedly holding out. This should surprise no one. And this goes back to what we said after he didn't show up for the mandatory minicamp. Why would the Jets trade for a guy without doing a new contract on the way through the door? And we criticize the Jets for that. And it's fair criticism. You're taking a guy who's unhappy with his contract with his current team, and you're trading for him without doing the new contract. And we've criticized other teams for this. When the Seahawks traded with the Jets for Jamal Adams, do the new contract then. When Jalen Ramsey went from the Jaguars to the Rams, do the new contract then. When Laramie Tunsil went from the Dolphins to the Texans, do the new contract then. All the leverage goes to the player once the trade is done. Once you've invested draft capital and or players to get the guy, you got to keep the guy. You got to pay the guy. It's better to say to the guy who's disgruntled with his current team, we'll give you the life raft, life preserver, life saver, whatever that you're looking for. But we want you to do a contract on the way through the door. And it may not be everything that you want, but it's better than what your current team's giving you. I mean, if a team trades for Brandon Ayuk, I guarantee you on the way through the door, he's going to have a new contract, not some point later. That's when you should do it. And, you know, the Jets were putting out this idea through media that are inclined in exchange for access to just say whatever the Jets tell them. And that's not a criticism of the Jets. That's true of pretty much every team. Pretty much every team has at least one reporter who, in exchange for access, favorable treatment, cooperation, will say whatever you want them to say. The story was, well, the Jets had an understanding with Hassan Reddick that he would show up and they would deal with it. Well, you know what? Those types of understandings aren't worth the paper they aren't printed on. They're completely unenforceable. The only thing that protects you is a written agreement that gives the player what he wants under terms that are palatable to the team, and everybody goes forward. So if we didn't already know this, the message to every team out there is don't trade for a guy who wants a new contract unless you give him a new contract. And if he doesn't like the offer, don't trade for him. Find your pass rusher somewhere else. So this is a mess for the Jets. We'll see how long it lasts. We'll see if it gets worked out. And this is the first real holdout. All the draft picks are signed. Jordan Love, as we discussed yesterday, is holding in. We'll see what some of these other disgruntled players do. But Reddick taking his stand as he did throughout the offseason program, not showing up for the New York Jets. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.